Hey Nisa, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, GitHub, which is a version control type of thing. But there's a uh, you, you're gonna you need to watch some YouTube videos on it, search it. Um, but I'm gonna give you a gist. Uh, basically, it's like you know you start a master branch, which the, this main code is, and then what we do is we'll create a a branch of it or a clone so someone else can can work on it. And if they make any changes here. We could then they can submit a publish request, and you could kind of look at it and say, "Hey, I think this one runs good. Let's go ahead and commit it to the main branch and let's make it official." Okay, and then we'll kind of move on to the next one. Okay, so if anything breaks, you can then go back to it. So let's say we, we committed that branch in and we merged it, and it's all of a sudden there's huge problems and we don't know what happened and it's just not working. We can go back. Okay, and then when we make edits, we'll clone it again, and this works. All right, great. We, we put it back. And then we can then move forward. And that's a new version two, or whatever, two point one or whatever it is that you have to, you know, kind of figure out. And then this works. And then let's say we, we move on to the next version. All right. So then we're gonna go clone this second version. And then if it does good, then that becomes the next master version three, and then so on. Okay. So it's like you know, or kind of thing. So as far as the naming convention like version 1, it will probably be 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, unless it's a big edit then it's version 2 or whatever. Okay, So that's kind of how that works. Uh, I'm going to give you access to it. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, there's lots of videos on it to kind of visualize it and what is GitHub. There's a desktop version that you can download and you can kind of manage and give access to Sam. Uh, so let me kind of show you that real quick. So this is uh I'm gonna, once you log in you'll see this. Uh, let's go to my I don't know let's see repositories are here. Uh, my Foy Tuner stuff is right here. See there's a lot of stuff here, and then the web-based version is here which uh, doesn't have anything, and no one can. Well there's there's three branches. So there's um. So that's the stuff that uh, Reg has committed, the web application, and they'll kind of add, you know what it does and how it does it so that the next project we can call, go go in and go okay I, I know what it does here's some information this is what it does and they can add to it okay and this is what he's committed um, the three branches I think he is so there's a master branch okay and this is a branch that he's working on once he fixes it then he'll push it into the master branch kind of thing okay now there's some rules to kind of have somebody be the manager uh, so that's under settings here, under branches. Reg gave me some rules, and I'll probably just kind of um, show it to you here. Uh, let's see. GitHub. Okay, may I request to remove the dev, dev branch? Let me just jump to that. Alright, so here, uh, yes, I already started yesterday. I don't know how to use this, but supposedly this is where you could add some rules so that uh, require pull request reviews before merging. So before you merge into it, someone has to prove it, okay? And then you kind of manage the versions, okay? I know you're not a programmer, I know that you, I, I didn't know how to do any of this either, uh, but basically it's just so that. Um, It'll notify everybody that there's a request happening, and no one, everyone knows what to do. And then, um, and you, know, you ask them, "Hey, can I push this version two? It's like cool, but if you notice it doesn't work, you can then manage it and then revert back to the previous branch. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I was trying to like, you know, showing what I did, and I finally did it right. I think so. You can probably zoom in on that video or pause it or whatever. So the sheet looks something like this, I think. And then uh, he says, "Cool." Yes, thanks. Yeah. So right now there's no rule. Anyone could just actually you as an admin can add to this master branch and you know do stuff to it. But 
there are some videos out there on the desktop I have a desktop version here that you could download you just google it and this is for the Foy tuner thing and you know I have all I have is a master branch because it's only me working on it but then normally the proper way to do it is to always create a new branch when I work work on the next version so I mess up or you know I can't I can find the next the previous version and then back it up okay uh, in the history or something like that that's here this is all the changes I made which is all a big mess so all these 89 90 should be the master branch not these all this sub stuff should be the the branches that come off of it see all these small changes so that way when I run a revert I'm like I don't even know what I did I'm like I think I made it here and I did this here it's kind of I, I didn't organize it right okay all right so I should probably do proper organizing because if I need to revert back and I it would probably be a big mess okay so who is watching Okay, so he can watch and monitor the pro progress of this thing too. And uh, I don't know, there's wiki might be cool projects, but basically he, they can document the process. And uh, let's see. huh, okay. I didn't know that there's project roadmaps and plans. So there's a lot to it that I don't even know about right now that people that they are using. But uh, to give him access is to give Calabrius right here, and I'll just remove him now because uh, he's no longer with us. And and then you kind of type in what is it, Sam something. He you have to ask him what it is. Sam so and then you know find him, add him, whatever it is, and add as a collaborator, and then he'll get access to this uh, tuner base. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, as far as a repository, like I already give it this to someone who is trusting, trustworthy. Like if you feel like he's making progress and he just needs a little help, uh, then you can add him as collaborator. But otherwise, I, I take everybody off so that they can't see my source code for the, the full turn. Okay. All right. So, all right. I think that's pretty much it. Kind of go figure it out. I don't know much about GitHub. Search for it about branches and how to set things up. There's a quick intro how it works and they kind of animate it so you kind of understand better. I don't know. I, I saw an animation of, of it somewhere. You just have to research it. It's the basics of managing your... Alright, it's all new, I know. Just figure it out. <laughs> okay, thanks.